Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A really exciting day today. We're in Southern California, just outside Los Angeles in San Fernando. And I'm here at the Goodwill Bins outlet. It's something that I've really wanted to tick off my bucket list on this US trip that we're on. A very, very unique experience for the thrifters out there, especially those from Australia like me, doing this for the very first time. Basically, you're buying by the pound and you've got some bin rotations that are continuous throughout the day. And uh, I'm gonna spend a bit of time out here today and hopefully catch a few rotations and pick up a, a few really cool items. So um, I'm gonna try and turn the camera on. I don't know how much recording I'm allowed to be doing in here, but um, let's just dive in. We'll see what we can do. It was a pretty crazy start to the day. I had no anticipation of what was going to happen. And when I saw everybody sprinting to the books and DVDs, that kind of put me off guard. But I slowly worked my way into the day and I managed to find these ASICS running shoes. And when you're in the bins, there's no guarantee that you're going to find a pair. So I had to do, I had to do my digging to try and find the second shoe. And then sure enough, I, I was able to find it. So we've got a pair of ASICS GT 1000s here. Should turn into about $50. So that was a good start. Got the Juve as well, the Juventus soccer team hat. That should go for about $20. Really good team over in Europe. And then I found these Merrells. And if I could find the pair of the Merrell run, uh, hiking shoes, they would have been really good. So I kept doing some digging for those. Uh, we got this as well, the, the Tommy Hilfiger hat. That should turn into about 30 bucks. I thought I'd found the Merrell pair here with these ones, but they weren't on this occasion. And for good reason, there, there was some holes and some damage to these. But uh, I tried to match them up. And as you can see, they weren't the right pair. But fortunately, I did some digging and I was able to come away with a pair of Merrells. These are the Chameleon 7s. And they're a really good pair of hiking shoes. There's some comps on eBay that go for about $100 US. So I think bringing them back home in Australia, given the condition of these, I should be able to sell them for about $80. So that was really exciting to find a complete pair of those. There are a lot of people out here looking for the same sort of thing. So I was really happy to find it. But I spent about an hour and a half off camera doing some digging. And I just thought that it'd be better to do that because I hopefully could find some quality and I was sure enough able to do that. been a really good first hour of the day guys i've got that la lakers opening night tea i've just got a plain nautica tea there as well size large in great condition we've got some ralph Lauren. this is completely genuine size extra large and we've got some nike golf size medium as well so very much plain essentials but they all should do well for me the Haynes Heavyweight Fear Factor tee, I thought that was pretty sweet too. So a couple of jeans, I'm not buying too many jeans, but these were just two really good pairs. The 501s, 36 waist, 34 length, you can't say no to that. I've got the UCLA uh, beanie there. I've got some Red Sox beanie as well. So two really cool items. So I do look for those every now and again. I've got a Columbia uh, wide brim hat here as well, just a hiking hat. Uh, Columbia, obviously a great brand. A few other snapback hats. I've got the Philadelphia Flyers, NHL. We've got the Mercedes-Benz with the new era tag. Another Columbia hat here as well that should do some pretty well for me. And then we've got a really nice Tommy Bahama relax hat there as well. So the hats, I'm looking for so many of these while I'm out there and they are coming through for me. This is a really nice Tommy Hilfiger jacket, size small. I've got this one as well, just a Nike jumper. Very much a plain essential, but a really cool find. I love this one, the Cincinnati Bengals. This is a size medium, a really nice white. I mean, it's not even dirty, which was pretty crazy to see. Uh, Billy Eilish as well, size medium. That was a world tour jacket, or I should say hoodie jumper. Um, this one as well, just a, a Brazil soccer jumper. I thought that was kind of cool to be finding. Um, we've got a Jordan size small. So there was a lot of really cool items in the winter wear, which I'm pretty happy to grab. And this Levi Strauss is probably the pick of the bunch uh, with the leather sleeves on there as well. So that was a size large, completely genuine. That one should net me about 50 bucks on eBay. So I was really happy to see that. And then we've got a big Tommy Hilfiger hoodie there as well, size 2XL. I love these sort of college, uh, collegiate type uh, jumpers. I've gone ahead and picked this one up. That's a size small, but couldn't say no. And then arguably one of the better clothing finds today was this North Face jumper. Um, that was a size large and that should get me about 70 to $80. So that was a really cool find. 
I've got this one as well. I'm always going to pick up any NFL gear that I'm seeing. Bang, bang, Niner gang. That was a cool tee. So I've picked that one up too. So the clothing did really, really well. And I picked up some shoes too. I've got these, which are the Giannis uh, basketball shoes, uh, the Antetokounmpo's. That were really cool. Found some other shoes that I had to put back, unfortunately, due to the fact that I just wasn't able to find the pairs, um, even those Jordans, which was really disappointing. And then the condition as well was a real concern for a lot of items. So those hokers, as good as they were, just too much wear. Um, unfortunately, the white color of these feeler disruptors, I had to put them back. They were just a little bit too dirty for me. And these Keens just had way too much wear as well. So I did all the hard work to find the pair for these Keens, but the quality of them just allowed me to not have to go with the purchase in the end. So threw them all back, but a little tip for anyone that is gonna to go to the Goodwill bins, just try to find yourself a rug in the bins and then put the rug over the trolley so you can go back out there without the trolley and find even more cool items. So that's what I did on this occasion, put it to the side of the room and uh, got back in there. And we found some really good items when we went back in for the second round. I found these Kobe Bryant shoes. These are a US size 15. Uh, they're in pretty good condition. Don't let the color and the, um, I guess, the discoloration there deceive you because I should be able to clean these up into be pretty good condition. And everyone's after a pair of Kobe's, especially over here in Australia. So they were a really cool find. I was happy to grab those. On Cloud, it's just such a great brand of running shoes, guys. So look, I, I really love the fact that I was able to find a pair of these, but the condition of them, not so great. I have had to actually go ahead and put these back into the bins, which was really disappointing but guys that's one of the biggest factors here in the bins is you need to be doing your quality checks on this occasion it wasn't going to work this hat i was almost going to grab the hat but again you can see some real sweat marks there in the in the inner so i've had to throw that back too uh, these asics they had some uh, fabric tears as well i'll never buy any shoes with any fabric tears and the soles are pretty worn away as well so not too bad of a second run all right well i've just come out for a breather because it's so full on in there we had a pretty good second round um I was able to get those Kobe's, which I'll need to give them a good clean, but just the fact that I was able to find a complete pair because I found so many good shoes and I've just found a single shoe. So to find two and be able to take them away and give them a good clean, I should be able to get some good money for those. Um, I'm walking over to what I think is their thrift store. But yeah, they're open here. So I'm gonna jump back in here and just see what they've got in store. <laughs> I'll never get sick of finding Jordans in the thrift, but unfortunately at $35, there's just no wiggle room. And to be honest, guys, the condition of these aren't even that great. So I think they've really taxed these too high and I don't think too many will be buying them. These ones here though, I found a Baylor uh, NFL, or I should say college jersey, and that should go for some decent money. I don't find too many college jerseys over in Australia. So Baylor, number 10, Nike, uh, fully embroidered. That one will do really well for me. Size large as well for $8. I've got a Detroit Lions NFL jumper here as well. So uh, that was in great condition, pretty much like new, and we've got a size medium, which isn't too bad. So this could be my favorite thrift store find of the entire trip. Santa Cruz University college jumper or sweater. Um, it's extra large. Price point, it's seven bucks. It's got a $7 price point, so $10 Australian. Um, really love the print on it as well, and it's in great condition, so that's cool. Um, I've also got this one as well. We've got an Indians jumper, um, no longer a team in the NFL, so that's kind of cool. Um, it's got New Era as well, good tag in there. So New Era, Team Apparel, NFL. And that one's $15, so it's gonna be 20 bucks. So I think as good as it is, 20 bucks is probably just a bit too much, so I'm probably gonna put this one back. Probably gonna put this one back too, as cool as it is. Uh, it's $10, so it's about 13 bucks. Um, probably won't sell it for more than about 25 to 30, so it's a size medium, um, genuine as well, but yeah, as cool as it is, I'm gonna have to put that one back too. It's just four bucks here. We've got a Philadelphia Eagles champion, Super Bowl T, um, size large on a Gildan tag. So that's really cool, just one sided print, but again, in excellent condition. So that's an easy win for what will be probably about six bucks. This was just a plain champion tee, but it was fully like a nice embroidery there. Um, it had an old school champion tag on it as well, size extra large. Um, and I think it was a pretty cheap price. Yeah, so 399 on that one as well. So 399, I should be able to do that for maybe $25. So six bucks, I think it's worth it. That's me, man. All right. 
man. Jump on board. Yes, sir. Good man. I'm Lottie, man. Like Lottie Dolly by Sparty. Yeah, sweet. Lottie Shiroye. So see me in the comments. Jump man. on and hit me a comment. Good, yeah, I'm Good not going to troll. Don't worry. <laughs> no, I appreciate you, man. That's awesome. Yeah. We just picked up a subscriber. What was your name? Lottie. Man, good to meet you. Lottie like Lottie Dottie. Good man. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'll put that in. Okay, yeah, sure. cool. Good man. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, thirty-seven ninety-nine. I think back in Australia with the conversion rate, I think that works out to about 50 bucks. So I think that's a pretty good buying because most of those items are going to go for about, I don't know, 30 to $40 each. So absolute profits there, no issues whatsoever. Um, that was technically my break from the Goodwill bins. So I don't know, I just can't stop shopping. But... We've got a Denny's actually across the road. Um, so I might go over there for lunch in a little bit, but I might get back in and do another hour in the bins and um, hide this in the trolley that I've got hiding in in the bins area. But um, it's a fun day. I'm buying a lot of stuff. I've only got two days to go. So I'm really trying to buy most of my stuff today and tomorrow I'm pretty much just packing my bags and going to the airport. So good fun. I'm gonna miss this place, that's for sure. I just want to show you the process of what happens when a rotation takes place. It's pretty crazy. But, um, everyone kind of gathers along the yellow lines and you have to wait until every single bin is laid out and then you li literally just attack. Um, and everyone just dives in and hopes to find some cool stuff. And that's pretty much the whole aim of the game. You've got all these bins here, but they've been generally picked through within 10 minutes. Um, you can spend more time looking, but chances are you won't find too much. But when that fresh bin comes out, it could be anything in there. So there's one lining up now. I'm actually, I won't dive into this one myself because I just want to film it and just show you how quickly people jump into it. So I'll see what I can get. They don't allow filming in here. So I'm trying to do this all pretty sneakily. Um, but yeah, watch the rotation. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Hopefully that shows just the competition that I'm up against today, guys. It is pretty full on in here, but I am having a lot of fun. I've jumped back into the bins and I found this Mario, the band Presto 2009. I think that should convert into a few dollars on eBay, so I've picked that one up. Pretty lightweight as well. I found this sweater. Look, I just like the print on it. The brand is The Hundreds. I don't think it's. I don't think you're going to make hundreds on eBay with it. But I, look, I still think it was just cool enough for me to go ahead with the grab. I remember I'm only paying about two dollars for it, so I've gone ahead and made that purchase there. And the trolley and the uh, the rug is really coming in handy as I collect up everything for the day. And really, it was just a case of just sifting through every single bin that was out there. If you weren't waiting for a brand new bin, you're sifting through the old stuff to try and find the brands that you're hopefully trying to sell on eBay for a big profit. And Look, it was always, you are putting in a lot of time before you actually get a good reward. Like this one here, I thought that I'd found a really good Columbia jacket and I had a good look over it. It was a really good size. It was a women's jacket. I thought everything was great about this and I was just having an airing over the weight as to whether to bring it back home. But obviously there it was, a big, a big rip in it. So that's why everyone else had passed on that. But my trolley was building. I had a number of items and then I found a few more. It was the Paul and Shark Yachting Polo Shirt. I've spoken about this brand a number of times before. It was nice to find it uh, here in the bins. It was a double XL, but there was a big stain on it. And so for that reason, I left it behind as well. And the Converses, I, I did like the fact that I was able to find these as well. These are a, a pretty decent pair of shoes, to be honest, and they're in, in pretty decent condition as well. Wasn't sure on the artwork as to exactly what the design was of these ones, but in the end, I actually did just leave them behind. There was a little bit of wear on the sole, just not quite enough for me to go ahead with the purchase of those, but still a pretty cool find. And this Mickey Mouse, look, it was really cool as well, but as you can see, there is a lot of dirt stains on this one here. So that was really disappointing because this sort of Mickey Mouse tee is a great item to be finding and selling on eBay. I would have probably got about $25 to $30 for it, but unfortunately, just had to toss it back into the bins. And there was this Santa Rope uh, beanie that I was able to find. This was in basically like new condition. So a bit of hit and miss with the bins, but this one was pretty good. So I've gone ahead and picked that one up there and I did a bit more digging and found a Thrasher hat. And these Thrasher, the brand Thrasher is a skateboarding brand. I picked this up. There was... Uh, pretty decent nick so i think i'll get about 35 to 40 for that a tailor-made hat there were a lot of hats that i was able to go ahead and purchase today 
Um, that one there should convert into about $30 as well. Um, then there was this one, probably the find of the day. We had the Nike Combat Gore-Tex work boots. These were the real deal and probably one of the better finds that I've had today. And I just needed to find the second pair and then sure enough, there it is there. So we've got a full set here of the Nike Gore-Tex Combat Pants. Some uh, Doc Martens as well, guys. So things are slowly starting to ramp up here. We've got some Docs. So I thought they were in great nick as well, so I went ahead and grabbed those. Um, but then I got back to the trolley and I realized there was a big hole in them. So we could only go away with the Gore-Tex boots there. The Doc Martens, unfortunately, I did have to throw them back as well. So like I've spoken a little bit in this video today, guys, quality is just such a consideration in the bins. I've picked these up though, a bit of a consolation prize. I've got the van shoes, really like the colorway on these ones. And I really love the fact that the soles are in great condition. So I went ahead and picked that one up. And I've got an LA Rams City of Champions t-shirt here as well. Having just won the Super Bowl, I think this one will be pretty popular. Should get a couple of nibbles when I go to put it on eBay. So I'm happy with that find as well. I found a Channel 4 San Diego Stay Classy. This was a really cool t-shirt, pretty much in light new condition. Uh, the Anchorman uh, novelty tee there. So that was a really cool find as well. Put that in the uh, in the trolley, hid that one under the blanket, and uh, I went back in. And there were a few other t-shirts that I was able to find, which I'm going to take you through now. The first one was this one, which I absolutely love, the Dallas Cowboys football tee. Uh, this was a size medium, but I really like the classic print on that. Got a Super Mario tee here. I like the look of it. And then I realized there was a big hole in there, so I've had to actually take that one back into the bins. And this one was a vintage Tommy Hilfiger Athletics, size extra large. Love the look of that. So if you do your time in the bins, you can come away with some really good options. Geez, that was a massive hour. When the, uh, when the shoe rotation came out, like, so the shoes don't always come out. It's mainly clothing. Um, I can't do books and DVDs. Haven't got too much footage of that because I haven't really been playing in that space. Um, just for the weight and the fact the region codes for the DVDs don't play in Australia. So for anyone thinking, why aren't I going over there? That's the reason why. Um, so really I can only play with like accessories like hats. I'm picking up a lot of hats, really cool hats too. Um, heap of clothing, uh, mainly shirts and then, uh, and then the shoes. That's pretty much what I'm playing with today. But when the shoes came out, I wasn't filming at the time, but we literally sprinted Everybody sprinted. There were about 50 people running from one end to the other. And uh, we all dove in and I thought, first of all, I found the, uh, the Doc Martens, but um, they weren't in the end because they were torn. So I couldn't, couldn't end up taking them back. Um, but then we did find the Gore-Tex Nikes. I think so far today, I know I love the Kobe's earlier, but I think those Gore-Tex Nikes are gonna be the best find that I get today. Um, gone off for some lunch. There's a Denny's across the road. So I'm gonna dive in there for the first time this trip. Uh, let me know what your thoughts is on Denny's because uh, as, as an Aussie um, we're told that Denny's is pretty good so let me know if that's the case but I'm hungry real hungry so uh, I'm gonna jump in get some food and then we'll get back stuck into it it's only about one o'clock so I reckon we can still do another couple of hours although my trolley and my baggage for the trip home is getting pretty extensive have to see how much it all weighs and maybe make some hard decisions a little later on. But yeah, let's go get some food. Now I'm gonna need a third bag to get home and I reckon I've found one right here with this LAX bag. It seems to be pretty big. I think with all the stuff that I'm buying today over at the bins, I'm gonna be able to fit that in plus the stuff that I bought yesterday on Melrose. Um, so I don't think the weight's gonna be an issue. Um, and I think it's only 10 bucks, which isn't too bad. Remember, for the third bag to get home, it's 32 kilos. So I reckon this bag will probably, probably allow for that. Um, I'm gonna drop her all in the bag. Awesome, thank you very much. So my first travel stuff up of the trip, um, I took the wrong bus and I've gone an hour in the wrong direction. 
an hour before I realised. So I'm gonna grab my bag, get back on the bus I should be on, and I think it's about a one and a half hour commute back to the hotel. So look, second last day of the trip to have one error. It's not too bad, is it? It's only an hour wasted. I made it back home, guys. That was a little bit frustrating, but fortunately I didn't have to swap buses and it was literally just the one bus all the way through. It was just an extra hour because I had to backtrack the way that I'd gone. So anyway, we've made it back home and what a massive haul it is. I've looked everything out here. I've put it on the bed for you guys just to have a bit of a look at what a massive day of thrifting this has been. The Goodwill bins, it was truly an awesome experience. I mean, I'm just so jealous of all the Americans that get to do this all the time. If it was me, I would do this at least once a week. You spend eight hours out there and you honestly, you probably don't need to go out again. You, you could do one trip, one day, and you'd be set based on everything that I've been able to find out here. I mean, there is some negatives though. You do need to do you do need to do your thorough searching for quality because there's a lot of stuff that I had to put back that just wasn't in good condition. Um, that was a really big takeaway. It wasn't as good as maybe going to a flea market like I did with Josh in South Carolina a few days ago where everything was just clean, crisp, basically brand new and ready to be listed up. When here today, I've even gone with a few items today that are a little bit below what I would normally pick up when I'm in the thrift. But um, on this occasion, I thought, look, you're buying it by the pound, you're getting it for a very, very cheap price. Just go ahead with the purchase. As long as you can get it back fine based on the weight, um, you'll, you'll be able to at least profit something from it because it was just such a cheap purchase price. Well, I'll tell you the numbers. It was a, I spent $100 US and that works out to $130 uh, in Australia. So 130 bucks and the number of items that I've got, 47 listings. I don't even know what the numbers are. I'll put it in the screen as to what the average purchase price is um, per item. I think the best find today, I've got to say it was the Nike combat boots. Those Nike combat boots are pretty special. I've never come across them before. Now Gore-Tex, um, oh, I don't know what the comps are because I've only just got back and hopefully editor Matt has been able to put in a bunch of edits um, of uh, some comps for you guys to check out throughout the day. Um, but yeah, uh, they, they were good. The Kobe's, they were really good as well. I really like those. I'm really interested in the Mad Magazines because the Mad Magazines in Australia don't comp up for much, but I know the US copies do. So um, to see those Mad Max mags um, right at the start of the day, that was pretty exciting as well. So I've done a lot of filming today. I don't know how long this video has been going, but if you're still here watching now, let me know in the comments below to show your support. I can't thank you enough. We call you guys the 30% club, the guys that stick around to the end of the video. And this one, I believe it's gonna be a bit of a monster. So if that's you, I truly can't thank you enough. Thank you for the support. Um, I'm gonna leave you with the last video that I had in this big, big USA trip series. Um, so go and check that video out if you missed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you're watching this for the very first time. If you've got to this point of the video, clearly you are enjoying the content, so make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like as well and uh, go check out that video, guys. Appreciate your support. We'll see you soon.